hello friends today i will show you how will you operate an hplc i am i'll show you the demonstration for simmerju hplc which is present in our lab okay you know hplc high performance liquid chromatography it is used for both qualitative and quantitative purpose not only and for purification purpose also okay so i am using this instrument for peptide purification and uh, here two pumps are there you can see top three chambers are there four chambers are there 1 2 3 4 and uh, left side two chambers 5 6 okay the left side two chambers out of that the ground one is the my detector uv detector and top two are the columns and the third portion is the communication module okay so now you see the machine is switched off so how will you switch on the machine you just come and switch on all the plugs you see all plugs are there now i'll switch it on okay I'll switch it on already i have switched on this one then you see this is the two chambers okay one and two so this is the rid detector as i will not use this so i will not switch on so next is the uv detector you see this is my uv detector and this is pump this is also pump and the stop is the module okay and this is sample inlet and this is my column you can see this is column this is the guard column okay so how will you fit a column okay you see this is the outlet of the column okay and it has gone directly to the detector part so how will you put you see in the column there is a arrow signal you know flow oh this is the phenomex column this is the best column for purification purpose of peptides hmm. c18 column and next is the gar column this is the gar column so put the gar column towards the arrow and see this is the arrow and flow okay this this has gone 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 to the this is the injector inlet okay so the sample when you will inject it will go from the injector through this pipe then it will go to the gar column then it will enter to the column okay okay any kind of dust particle or any kind of thing will be just uh, stop here okay sometimes people use commit mistakes they cap the solvent for long run and they then they will uh, run the sample they never change the solvent so dust particle may enter to the uh, your solvent okay this this part is over then you see two bottles are there this is for a you know see this is a okay solvent for a a is the water and b this is my b bottle this contains the organic solvent okay for peptide purification generally people use 0.1 or 0.085 percent of tfa in uh, solvent a and uh, solvent b right now you see all the things has switch on green light has come now the now it's time for purging okay what is purging in purging the air bubbles if present in the tube from the solvent end you see the solvent end okay there is solvent end so the air bubbles if present then it will clear it the out okay so for purging just this is the knob you see this is knob is present so this tight so you do the anti clockwise 180 degree open then round also 
the pump A, this is the pump B, I did for pump B, you see, pump A, anti-clockwise, pump A, this is for water, pump B, this is for organic solvent. You see, now there are different switch of pump, hmm. pump, run, purge, like this switch are there, so you do purging. See, it is started, purging line. You see, for this also, started. Fine. So it will run for 2 to 3 minutes. Okay. Then comes to the desktop part. Till yet I have not switched on the software. Okay. Now you switch on your monitor. Let the monitor to switch on. Now monitor is switched on. In this Simergy system, the latest version of software that is LC solution is present with us. As my desktop is little bit of problem, so this icon will come all the time. So don't mind, please. Double click, you see LC solution Simerju option has come. One, two, three, four, four channels are there. Then below post run and then browser is there. So in post run, after running your injection data used to save here, you can go there, edit your picture and you can take your chromatogram. Okay. I'll show you also how will you go to post run, how you will edit this in my next video. So let's go in as four channels are there in uh, channel number one as my system is communicated. So just double click you see one option is come okay user id password it has not given any user id or password just okay you saw you listen the clicking sound it has come okay that means it has connected the system is connected okay the specified you see there is option come the specified system configuration is different from LC hardware configuration, okay or help. Why this happens? Because my RID detector is switched off, that's why this is happen. Okay, so I don't need then just okay In system configuration to this okay. This will not comes. This option will not come if you switch on the RID detector. So as normal, the monitor will come like this. You know, ready. It has written ready. Fine. Now. How will you develop a method? I'll show you in next video how will you develop a method. Just for running how to switch on the HPLC, I will show you how will you download your file. Go to file, choose the method file, open new method file, then open method file is there. So if you want to uh, make a new method so go to new method file otherwise open method file fine see see it has been saved in looking in different projects are there so already I have prepared a lot of methods so I will select my method then open then go and download Okay. You see, LC stop time, everything has been given. Now you come this side, that purging has been completed. See, 3ML pump B, 6 PSI. Here also durable pump a like that it has come. Okay, leave that one. So you tied your knob clockwise. This also clockwise tied your knob. Okay. Then there is a option C switch on this option. Okay, switch on the machine or switch on the pump, switch on the complete machine system. This is for zeroing detector, UV detector you just click for 2-3 times so your detector will come zero, okay?
now you see solvent started flowing you can see the, the solvent started flowing in 3 ml per minute okay so in this way you will switch on so this is not a big job to run in HPLC so you will learn HPLC how will you develop a method how will you edit a peak in swimmer you HPLC and how will you how will you develop your new method file then uh, how you edit your peaks in a uh, post run I will show you in my next video as well as how to shut down this system is a question you know you have run uh, your program you don't know how to switch up this one so again like to running you open a file like that go to file open method file you see there are different folder files are there so I have a created a uh, of method file that is for shut down where you just select it then open it okay open it and download it so as a result your system will stop flowing the solvent okay they are in method file what we perform you put detector as 0 and pump flow rate as 0 so your detector and pump flow rate will stop so that you can cancel out or log out from your um, software right then you can sort down everything then there won't be any problem it will directly switch up from um, if solvent is running and uh, detector is uh, switch on so there might be some problem to your uh, detector as well as pump so don't do this mistake okay thank you very much for watching my video